Welcome from Bentley Systems. We wanted to talk today about supporting our users while they work from home. Our topic today is going to be on virtual machines and remote desktop. Now, working from home can be a bit of a challenge because you want to be able to get access to the data that you normally have access to in your workplace. And there are a variety of different enterprise collaboration tools that you could use to help yourself do that. One of these may be virtual machines, another might be remote desktop, um, others might be just copying your data to your local machine, which we'll talk about in another video. So using virtual machines here, basically this is a piece of software that simulates the hardware that you have on your regular machine. So it basically emulates or simulates the actual computer that you're running on in order to basically create a clean operating system for you. So it's like a fresh, clean computer inside your existing computer. And then you can start installing software and testing it and running it and doing things just as if you're running in a real computer, but you're running inside of a virtual computer. Remote desktop is also another concept that's used by administrators. These tools allow you to connect to a computer that's located someplace else. You can then not only log into that computer, but you can see that computer's desktop and interact with it as if you were actually logged onto it locally. So you would have keyboard and mouse control over that computer you can start and stop programs on that computer, and that would be another way of working. Now, MicroStation has been working with virtual machines or virtualization, basically the same thing. Though there's a little bit more differentiation here. MicroStation essentially was tested and supported through the application virtualization test suites that are available from Citrix. So we support the Citrix Zen app environment. And for MicroStation Connect Edition Update 13, um, that is fully supported. We also support this with MicroStation VNI Select Series 10. Now there is a virtualization FAQ that's available on communities.bentley.com. And you can probably just go search for that MicroStation virtualization FAQ. Um, and in that FAQ, you'll find a variety of different things. So let's just take a quick look at our FAQ here. So the MicroStation Virtualization FAQ is available um, <clears throat> to discuss all of the different aspects of uh, virtualization and some of the most common questions. So for example, uh, what virtualization environments that we support, Citrix ZenApp, what are the versions? So here you can see the versions that are supported for update 13, version 7.15 and 7.18. And for select series 10, it's the same thing for the 64-bit version of ZenApp. Um, you may need to check with uh, other Bentley applications to make sure that they are, this is for MicroStation, so if you're running other Bentley applications, but primarily all power platform applications like open roads and open buildings should have no trouble here. Um, other virtualization environments, uh, we evaluate this at time from time to time to see what we're uh, going to work on, but right now we're only working with Citrix Zen app. Um, installing and configuring Zen app, of course, is uh, done through your IT provider or department. And of course, we'll make sure that things are working inside that Citrix environment that we certify on. So if you're running MicroStation Update 13 on Citrix ZenApp 7.18, then of course, we'll investigate issues. But outside of that, um, it should work, but you're basically on your own. <clears throat> All right, if you want to know, learn more about Citrix and ZenApp, you can certainly go to citrix.com. And a lot of people ask, well, I'm, this is all wonderful, but why do I actually do this? 
um, it really does help with ease of deployment because you actually just have one installation that you essentially copy to multiple desktops. So uh, ease of deployment and update is so much better. Um, you may be able to lower your cost of application delivery by using a, a less powerful machine at the uh, user end, at the client end, depending on your server back end. Um, that would lead to fewer upgrades, and of course, your security is all virtualized, so there's an additional layer of security protecting you. And, and, and sometimes it can be a little bit more cost effective, again, based on your server backend. Uh, licensing, there are some questions about this, so please consult your end user license agreement to find out more about licensing. Now, in general, the work from home program is uh, something that is very prominent in our communities web page. So if you go to communities.bentley.com, you'll find this right here by going to click here. You'll be taken directly into our FACs, uh, FAQs. Uh, and from here, you can see there's work from home with MicroStation. So if you click through on work from home with MicroStation, you'll find a whole bunch of supporting videos and tools to help you get connected. Now, the other topic, of course, was remote desktop. And with remote desktop, this needs to be set up with your IT department. So they need to set up your remote desktop servers and I'll create all your uh, URLs for computer connection. But this is a feature of Windows and allows you to connect to a remote computer. For example, you might want to be able to access a workplace computer from home. Hmm, sounds familiar. Uh, it actually is kind of convenient because if you're traveling, it's kind of fun too, and nice to be able to get to files that are on your computer at work. Of course, that computer at work must be turned on. IT people would use it to fix computer problems, and of course, there's a variety of other things you could do with it. Primarily, um, the remote desktop connection um, is something that is supported. So... Uh, it, there's a lot of factors that get involved here, but we have uh, certified and supported uh, MicroStation to, to work with remote desktop connections. So you can go ahead and do that. Um, and again, you will need to consult your IT department on the details of how to do that. As always, if you have questions, you can always reach out to us at Bentley. So uh, please feel free to Go to Bentley.com and go to the Communities page, communities.bentley.com, and go to the forums, and you can post your questions there. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.